Yo, what up everyone? Today, I finally got to get myself together to do this review. Uh, yes, the PlayStation uh, wireless gold headset. Bought like a month ago. I previously had uh, Triton AX720s. And I had those for like six years. So, pretty much when I started gaming. So those are really good and I've got those for like a hundred and twenty dollars and it's kind of the benchmark was to get a headset that would kind of either be similar or beat it and if it was gonna be similar to be just as good or whatever it, it I wanted it to be at least a little cheaper so uh, I was looking around and I saw the Sony wireless gold headset I'm like oh it's a wireless headset a uh, hundred dollars that doesn't sound bad, you know, read the reviews, pretty good reviews and all that. But now I figured, I thought I'd make my review because, um, L L3. it's not, not everyone really reads the reviews and on YouTube, it's a much easier way for people to watch and listen, uh, someone, you know what I'm trying to say. So basically, uh, let's talk about the pros immediately. No brainer. It's wireless. Why does it matter that it's wireless? Well, you could, I, I, I like it a lot personally because I could walk around the house, take care of my chores and still be uh, talking to my friends or whatever in the, the game chat or party chat. So it's pretty cool. Instead of when I had a wired headset, I would have to sit basically near the PlayStation and that'd be the only way I could talk to them. I couldn't talk to them if I went in another room or whatever. Not saying that that is a matters, but it's just uh, something for convenience, you know. Next is the sound quality. I definitely gotta say the sound quality, uh, game and uh, chat quality is really good on this. Really cannot complain, especially for the price. I mean, I bought these for less than a hundred. Uh, I got a discount. So I was lucky, fortunate enough to have that, but um, for a hundred dollars, still I wouldn't complain. Okay. Next, um, comfort. Oh. They're pretty comfortable. Um, I'm gonna go into it a little m in more detail because um, at first they're pretty comfortable, but after time it kind of wears down on your on your ears, on your neck. And that would definitely be a big con of mine for it. But uh, you can adjust the the headset so it can fit. Trust me, I have a big head, so it fits me fine. And if you have it, an even bigger head than me, you can still you can adjust it even more. The cool thing is all the buttons are on the headset. So on the earmuffs, pretty much, are you have all the buttons. So it's very accessible to do what you want to do. It's not like you have to go in the PS4 settings to adjust something. You could do everything on the headset with like the click, the touch of a button without even removing your headset. And at first, you might see all these buttons, be like, man, that's a lot. But you get used to it real quick. So very, very easy, very functional headset. All right, now I think that's enough for the pros. Uh, next, we're gonna talk about cons. So uh, the cons that immediately stood out to me is they can get pretty heavy after uh, gaming for a couple of hours, and um, you know wears down my my neck, my ears feel it. So I thought that was annoying. Uh, another thing is the actual mic sound quality isn't great. Now a thing to note. That's probably because there is no um, actual like physical mic that sticks out from the headset. <coughs> On uh, most headsets, you actually see that little piece, the mic piece, sticking out. This one uh, does not have one at all, so I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the quality because the quality of my voice is not good at all with the gold headset. Right now, I'm actually using earbuds. Now these earbuds cost me like $40, but they basically can do the same thing this headset does, but even better, except, you know, 
but almost better except the fact that it's not wireless you know but i mean i just plug these earbuds into my controller and it's we're good to go so i was thinking about that i was like man i probably didn't even have to buy a headset altogether i could just use my earbuds because these work like a charm now back to the headset so when i record videos uh sound quality is pretty bad compared to the other my previous headset and these earbuds now another con is that the battery life i mean actually th this one can't really decide whether it's a it might depend because i never had a wireless headset before i mean when i use these it's there's never been a time where d during a gaming session i had to take them off just to charge them there's never been a time I mean, I'm smart because when I stop gaming or when I decide to use my earbuds c just for the comfort, I'll just end up plugging the wireless headset in so I could charge. Now, I also forgot to mention another good pro, these headsets, that you actually could connect. It comes with an auxiliary cord that you could plug into the headset and to a phone or iPod and listen to music with this. And it also folds. That's a uh, that's another thing I forgot to mention about a pro. This headset folds and you could carry it around. So it is pretty good if you're traveling. But that's pretty much it guys. I mean, uh really for a hundred dollars I, I wouldn't complain. Now if you're trying to get something a hundred around this price and you plan on recording YouTube videos with it, don't get it. Uh, sound quality is pretty bad. Now, um, for gaming purposes, it's really good. Just after a long time, be aware that uh, the headset's uh, heaviness will be felt on your neck and your ears and your head. But thanks for watching. See you guys later.